Hi there, and welcome to the first in a series of videos that I am going to create on using Google Sheets. In this first video, we will look at some basics of Google Sheets and talk about some of the benefits of using Google Sheets. So before we get started, how to access Google Sheets. The easiest way to get access is from the Google homepage, and we get to it initially from our Google Drive. So go to your Google homepage, click on the nine squares at the top right hand corner here, and select Drive. The other way to do it is through the address bar, and you will type in drive.google.com as shown below. So once you're in Google Drive, you will see something like this. You may see some of your content. For this example, I have created a YouTube demonstrations um, folder within my Google Drive to contain these. To create a new Google Sheets document, there are two ways of doing this. We can right click on a blank space of the Google Drive, um, select Google Sheets, and then a blank spreadsheet or from a template. In our examples, we are going to create a blank spreadsheet. Um, you can also create Google Docs and Google Slides from here as well, but this video series we are focusing on Google Sheets. The other way of creating a new Google Sheet is clicking on the New button at the top right hand corner, and a similar menu option is available, Google Sheets, and we will create a blank spreadsheet. Now, we have now created a new blank spreadsheet, and this is the, the interface for Google Sheets. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is to provide our Google Sheets a name. So I'm just going to click onto the, the, uh, the title box up in the top left-hand corner here, and we'll give it a name. And I'm going to call mine's um, sales team. Just press enter, and that will save. So some of the, the benefits, the, these are the top five benefits that I consider to be um, a good use case for Google Sheets. Uh, the first one is that it's free. Uh, Google doesn't charge any money for Google Sheets. Uh, the second is that it's online. It's an online application, and like everything else, it continues to evolve. Uh, so, uh, you know, as, as the days go by, Google will continue to improve the online application and provide new functionality without any cost. Uh, you get unlimited storage. So Google Drive, um, where your Google Documents are stored, doesn't uh, your usage quota for your Google Drive doesn't get um, shortened by Google Documents. You could have a thousand Google Documents in your Google Drive, and it won't use any of the space within there. The the fourth one is it's very easy to share documents. So within an organization, or perhaps in our example within a family. It's very easy to create and share Google Documents with other people. Um, in this Google Sheets, for example, you can have multiple people working on the same document at any particular time. Um, and then the fifth option is that it's functional as well. Um, it's commonly said that Google Sheets isn't as good as, say, Microsoft Excel, and it's not a, a direct replacement for Microsoft Excel. Um, in some cases, I would agree, but I would challenge that comment with, it depends on... Um, your your use case. So why do you use Microsoft Excel? I believe that for what a lot of people do, um, they can accomplish this by using uh, Google Sheets. And in this video series, we'll take a look at some of those things as well, such as linking sheets, uh, doing uh, VLOOKUPs, uh, pivot tables, charts, uh, conditional formatting, all of that kind of thing. So one of the good things about Google Sheets is that you don't have to save the document you'll see in the file menu that there is not a, a save option in there. Um, you can create new and open and rename, make a copy, but there isn't a save option. And that's because Google Documents um, as a whole, the same with Google Documents and Slides and Sheets, it continues to save the documents as you're working on it. And you can see in the top, um, next to the, the menus at the top there, it tells that all changes are saved within Drive. And you may occasionally see that changing to saving as we make changes to the documents. Opening a new Google Sheet is exactly as we did before. We can go to the Google Drive, like you can see here, and we can now see that the sales team document that I have created is now showing there. I'll just jump back into that. 
So Google Sheets doesn't use any standalone application on your system. Um, it's all done through the web browser. So if you're using Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, um, or even another operating system from Windows, uh, Mac OS with Safari, um, or a variant of Linux, then you can use Google Sheets here. Um, and there are a number of free desktop, uh, sorry, mobile applications as well for things like Android and iOS. Um, and in my experience, all of those work really, really well. So in this video just now, we're going to look at some basics. So comparing some things to Microsoft Excel, you'll see that the interface is fairly similar. You have your cells here, and then you have your rows and your columns along the top. And anyone who's used Microsoft Excel with uh, cell references, um, formatting rows and columns, this should be fairly similar um, to you. We can uh, create new sheets and manage the sheets down the bottom, again, just like Microsoft Excel. We can click here, we can rename a sheet, we can copy a sheet, we can duplicate a sheet, change the color and protect. And if we want to add a new sheet, we can click on the plus here just to add a new sheet on. And I'm just going to delete that just now. Okay, so we can create new sheets just like we do in Microsoft Excel, and it's fairly easy to do that. And as we progress through the videos, if this is new to you, then you will very quickly pick up on how to do these things. Um, so looking at the top, we have the, the menu bar. Now, this looks more like a classic version of uh, Microsoft Excel. So in 2007, um, Windows, uh, sorry, Microsoft had released um, a new ribbon interface to the Microsoft Office products that they continue to use today. Um, and this interface looks more like the previous versions, so Office packages 2003 and before. Um, but that doesn't mean to say it's not good to work with. Um, in some cases, some people actually prefer to use this more classical um, or traditional method of working. Um, so we do have our menu bars up here. Um, so file, edit, view, um, and almost everything you're looking for will be in here. Um, or there may be a menu button available along the top here. And some of these, again, should be fairly similar. Hyperlinks, bold text, formatting text, and formatting numbers like moving decimal places. Um, these are all fairly similar um, to, to what, again, what we use in Microsoft packages and are fairly easy to use. Um, so looking more at the, the use case of um, using Google Sheets, it does support functions um, and formulas in there. And in the videos, we'll continue to look at those. So if we want to average numbers, count, sum, all of those kind of things we can do. But in this case, what we're going to do just now um, is put together a very basic example of um, some data that we'll continue to use as we go along. Um, so I'm going to put in here um, employee number, employee name, job title, and we will go with uh, salary. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video just now um, and start to put in some data into these, um, these rows. Okay, so we now have some sales employees data that I have just provided into this um, sheet here. And you can see that the data has started to overflow in some of the sales. So if we take a look at the, the name for this person here, or the job titles for these two people here, those have overspilled a little bit there. So again, similar to Microsoft Excel, to resolve that, we would simply put a mouse between the two cells here, B and C, to get that blue line you see, and double click and the, the sheet will automatically resize to accommodate that. We'll do that again just between these two columns here, between C and D for this one. There we are. And if we wanted to manually do those, we can. We can click on the, put your mouse over just to get the two arrows here, and you can click and manually um, provide the, the, the size of a cell if you would like to do so. Um, so I'm just going to undo that by clicking on this button up here. So if ever we do something, um, you know, if we make a mistake and we want to undo, we can click on the, the back arrow here. Or if we want to redo, and in fact, we didn't want to undo that, we can click on the redo button just to put that change back in place. 
So what we're going to do now is just apply some formatting um, to this. Um, I'll just expand that one as well. Um, and there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, we're going to do it the, the manual way just now. So what I want to do with this one um, is just select these cells here, make them bold, uh, center align them. Um, and with all of this data here, I'll just select it down a little bit further. We want to align that to the left. I need to expand that a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to give this one a, a fill. So we want to make this one, I guess, a, I don't know, go for that kind of blue color there. And then for all of these, we'll just put a little bit more in because we're going to expand this later on. Um, and we'll give that some borders, just like that. So that's starting to look more like a, a data table. Um, if we did want to put in different colors, then you can select a single cell um, and go with a, a different color if that's something that you would like to do. Now, there's only two more things I wanted to point out on this basic introduction video. Um, the next videos will look more at doing some uh, formulas and other specific areas within Google Sheets. But um, I wanted to point out a couple of things within the, the help section here. So within help, there is uh, keyboard shortcuts. So like desktop applications, you can use keyboard shortcuts within uh, Google Sheets. Um, so if we click on keyboard shortcuts, that will open a little dialog box here where we can see some of the keyboard shortcuts that we can use. Um, so if you are the type of person who likes to use keyboard shortcuts, which I am, then uh, this is very good. Um, and the good news for those who have used Excel, there are some similarities um, for many areas, which is quite good. Um, and then the next thing I wanted to point out was the, the function list. Um, so we're going to look at this more in a future video, but if you wanted to get an understanding as to what functions we can use within formulas, uh, we can click on the function list. It will open a new tab and it takes you to a rather sophisticated document where all of the, the Google Sheets uh, functions are available. So if we wanted to take a look at, let's just take average then we can see all of the um, the results here that have an average in them. Um, and this is one of the ones, this you know, statistical category uh, average. This is the one that we're going to take a look at um, in a future video. So that's all for now. We're going to wrap up this video. Um, please do like and subscribe if you have found this helpful. If there are any specific requirements or specific areas that you would like to see covered in a future Google Sheets video, please let me know in a comment um, and I will do my best to produce a video that covers that requirement for you. Thanks for watching.